Welcome everyone to the Backcast. The we're going to talk about stuff part of the Backlog channel. Uh, oh, wait, we're not playing every game ever. I mean, we are just not on the Backcast. Sorry to interrupt the introduction. Oh, gee, gee, oh, you started it. Run it back. We're no, doing it. No, no, no. 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 Um, <laughs> it's gonna be, gonna be a, as you can say, we're a bit, bit, bit loose uh, here today. We've. Uh, just had a l- bit of a conversation about The Last Jedi, but that's not gaming related, so we're just going to skip that <laughs> before it gets hey, going again. I'd be down to talk about Star Wars. I know you would. I'm all about Star Wars. I know. I know where the last hour went, too. Uh, so. I'm not delaying the recording. Yeah, you're not You're not just tripping me up while I'm trying to get into this. <laughs> uh, holidays. We're coming off the holidays. Have some stuff shifting around. So we're going to be kind of a short, shorter one today because we haven't had time to play a whole lot of games. Yeah, yeah, it's been a bit of a crazy holiday it, season. It is. Um, I mean, we talked about the Monster Hunter beta. That happened. And a great deal of my time has since been uh, looking into things like Monster Hunter videos. and oh, what. I, of course. Oh, well, and as always, I am Joe. Oh. It, did, Are I, you I, Joe? I think I, I missed my... I interrupted my introduction. I think you cut me I'm off sorry. before I introduced you as Joe. That's my bad. I mean, you're always Joe, though. Got to keep it cash. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm dead. Anybody here? I think if anybody here is here this far deep, they're gonna know who we are, <laughs> or they don't care. Hey, every 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 video is somebody's first. Video. I know. Like I said, they either know who we are or they don't care. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> anyhow, uh, so been looking at the Monster Hunter stuff. They announced another beta coming up at the January nineteenth through the twenty first, twenty second. I'm willing to play more. Monster well, they're Hunter. adding a new hunt. Hey, I, I would play all of the old hunts. I if, will do. I, <laughs> I, I, you know, honestly, if they just said we're just going to leave this beta up until it's live, I would probably put another ten hours into that. Oh man, I don't know if I'd do that just because there's such a lack of like progression How in do you, it. But those weapons play so differently. It's fun. It, I would. It, ha- it, is, it is fun to play moment to moment, no doubt. Yeah, uh, yeah. At some point, though, I need to feel like I'm getting something yes we, we know that but here's the thing is i like it as a it, like, forgive the term as a sort of safe space oh, to man. to get out learn yeah. the weapons and figure out which one i want to sorry, really sorry ladies and gentlemen it's a little snowflakey up in here yep i'm, 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 I'm sorry is, is my millennial showing i'm not assuming you're uh <laughs> your, 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 your age, age bracket your age category yeah <laughs> age orientation <laughs> I'm not ageist. Yeah, well, I mean, you are, but we're not going to get into that. Aren't we all? Yeah. Anyhow, so that's what I, a great deal of my time has been looking into that and learning about the various monsters and the crazy, crazy stuff that is Monster Hunter. I'm really excited about this game. Yeah. It's, it's real pretty. It, it bears talk a lot of talk going into depth on it, but it seems to be, from the outside looking in, kind of the perfect storm of what both you and I look for in a grinding game. Definitely. Or, or in a game in general, because the grind games are the ones we end up playing. Well, and it's action combat, which, yeah. oh, man, it's it's like tickling that Dark Souls bone. It's tickling that like farm up transmog. Yeah, and it's, just, it's challenging, rewarding. It gives you loot. I actually, I, I saw skills to level up. There's people that have taken online to uh, compar- comparing loot boxes to Monster Hunter monsters. As the, okay. the loot box versus the monster I kind mean, of thing. The monster is the box. The monster is the loot box. Also, it fights back. You can carve <laughs> it up as many times as you want. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, man. It's, it, Do the, they, are they like legally obligated to post the odds of me getting that, that no. tail that I need? No, no, no. Because you don't pay real money for it. Oh, man. It's it's L- loopholes. No loop- no in game purchases. Loopholes. An in game purchase. I'm going to pay a buck, and here's this monster going to appear in front of me. What if I want to play as Darth Vader? Um, it's going to take six years. <laughs> you're going to have to and uh, you're in uh, eighty thousand credits, whatever the whatever that was. Tragic. Ah, uh, Battlefront Two still sucks. My nephew. Uh, Let's not talk about Battlefront 2. He's, he's, he's excited. He's like, have you heard about it? Oh, I've heard about it. <laughs> I've heard about that game. He, he's, he's a bit of a youngin', so I didn't want to, you know, you don't want to break his heart. He's like, no, but you could play as Darth Vader. Like, cool, cool, dude. Darth Vader's rad. Yep. And I, and I, but I did talk to his mom. Like, did you not see that? See this thing? And she's like, there's a what now? <laughs> Anyway, oh, I feel sorry for him. Yeah. I, I hope I hope he enjoys it. I hope he loves I it. I hope he's getting all of the he Star loves it. Wars but, out. but here's the thing: he's still playing uh, Infamous Second Son and loving the crap out of that. Ah, that's on. Uh, that is one I have a hard copy of that I never opened up. I'm actually really excited. We will have to get into that. Put it on the list. Uh, it's on the list. Yeah, as soon as we uh, get a proper capture card set up, maybe I'll. Oh, maybe I'll stop know. pressuring mm. me. No, 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 not, no, 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 pre- no, pressure. no I pressure. I have I, no. I've got what it's about. What, this is two, a safe space. Remember, it's the monster hunter beta. This is this is the monster cave. Everything's safe here. Yes. <laughs> um, no judgment. 
the uh, yeah, I, the capture card. I've got it picked out here in the next two weeks. We'll get it. No, yeah, yeah. There's no rush on that by any no, means. There is because Monster Hunter is coming out, and then uh, you're right, and that's how we would capture Monster Hunter footage. It, I and don't we know. have to show the people Monster Hunter. I don't know how we're going to do our setup in that because you know setup talk is so much fun. But yeah, uh, everybody likes but to know. I'll have I'll have the mic, the headset, or I, I, I probably have to uh, ditch my headset. Oh right, and then have hmm. my earpiece on so I could hear you playing from your Interesting. house. It, 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 Interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have some hurdles to. Yeah, to get over to see how we can get both of us set up. Well, I'll just put that. the mic really close. No, that won't work. That Never won't mind. Work. Yeah, no, I think we we yeah. won't capture your voice. You'll have to run Audacity at home and record Ooh, yourself. Man, that'll be a fun sync audio sync job. We'll just clap at the front beginning. It'll oh yeah, work. that's right. That's how everyone does it. Any anyway, uh, let's um, <laughs> let's talk more about Monster Hunter, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh, let's see. Uh, am I going to be able to get cool weapons? Always. Actually, that's one of the videos that we were watching. Uh, beforehand our warm-up yeah, yeah a little warm-up video action and uh oh man if you like cool looking gear sets oh man it looked like the monster that you done killed yeah that too that too uh it's so awesome that this is finally an approachable franchise i remember seeing a magazine ad for the first one and went what and i never picked it up because i didn't have a ps2 until much 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 yeah. later always liked the idea finally got my hands on 3DS demo for Monster Hunter 4, uh, whatever that was called. For Ultimate. Uh, Ultimate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimate Gaiden, Monster Kill, Spectacular. And uh, Ultra, oh, Ult- Ultimax. <laughs> and it was bad. It was not fun to play. The camera was way too tight. It um, looked kind of janky. It was kind of, it definitely looked janky. It was a 3DS. I mean, I mean, though, you got to respect them for leaning into their art style that way, but it just doesn't look that cool. On a 3DS. On a 3DS. Yeah. Uh, the PS4 one looks amazing. Yeah, cut to PS4, and wow, it is a different different thing entirely mm. and is uh, a lot of fun. If yes. anybody is interested in playing in the uh, beta with us, uh, it, what is it? On the 20... 19th to the 21st. 19th to 21st. Yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be messing around on We'll that. be hunting monsters. We'll, we'll, we'll actually, I think, we'll, I think we've got a third su- somewhat lined up. We'll need one or two more people because... Yeah, if anybody wants to join, be our fourth. We'll teach you... Hunt, we'll, hunting we'll, the monsters. Yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be teaching people how to hunt and then taking them in the hardest hunt in the beta because we got we to gotta build... Uh, we got to get Nergagante. This is, yeah. Yeah, Nergagante. The, He's a, a dragon that grows spikes, and then you break the spikes, and then he regr- grows them back, and then it's repeat. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> <laughs> but pretty much everything in the beta you can cut the tail off of, so that's... That's cool. We can just cut off tails all week. Yep. I'm really excited for when that actually matters. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> dropping everything and carving mid-combat to yeah, get the tail... that too. Get the tail Gotta juice. Ninja that tail... Get that tail juice. Um, also, the cool, like, extra costume stuff, like the Horizon Zero Dawn little like and the universal studios japan thing that too yeah okay so yeah you get special appearances you can look like aloy they and, they call it layered armor instead of transmog oh is that what it is so you're layering Water. it you're, over your armor so you still have your regular armor stats all yeah that. it yeah, just yeah. looks different uh fine with that transmog is awesome and uh yeah so you can look like aloy and your palico can look like one of the little seeker dinosaurs mm-hmm. from uh horizon zero dawn that has me very excited not the Aloy part necessarily, necessarily, but the uh, Palico. Looking yeah, like the, the, the Robo looking Palico. Like a cyber but then again, we did see like the the Bone Spaceman Palico armor from the main game yes. that looked pretty good, and also the but the USJ um, Universal, Universal, Studios, Universal Studios, Studios Japan. Japan. Uh, they're doing a they'll do a promotional thing where there's a code actual theme park actual theme park that has a Monster Hunter uh, themed area with replica armor sets and life-size monsters they love their monster hunter over there they, it's a it's ridiculous um yeah uh, they'll have that and then they'll be giving out codes that people can go on quests but you can post that to a board and bring people into your quest and they can get credit so it's not going to be impossible to get that armor set and conveniently we have a friend we have a line Japan. yeah so we have, we have a, <laughs> and going to universal studios and going to universal studios so we've got a line on a code or two so that's that's gonna be a cool gonna thing be rad but it's like weird like it's like very uh like blue and gold samurai-esque armor very very your uh yeah not i was gonna say european but like very uh eastern themed oh very much so yeah anyway looks cool looks cool and a palico set yeah palico sets are cool and you get one from Universal Studios. Yeah, so, so there's a lot of that stuff. They've said that they're, they're planning on doing um, 
doing more of that stuff as the, as the, the year goes through. Uh, I guess some people have talked about uh, there have been times in Monster Hunter where they were doing uh, uh, an event like that like once a month. That's a lot. It kind of makes me afraid, though, because if that code is available right at launch for the that blue mm-hmm. set yeah uh when our friend goes to japan we may not be able to get <laughs> we might we might it have to be, set before it, it goes be a different set no no they, they said that that promotion is going to run from january to april oh okay that specific no. set okay i'm not worried anymore <laughs> no no i i, cl- I cleared the dates before i even talked to him oh, That's, right on, we're, right we're on. good all right good um I mean, in fact i think you can even start getting it later this month before the game launches oh wow Man, they're on top of it. They are on top of it. This, is, this isn't their first Monster Rodeo. It's true. It's true. It's been, uh, how old is this franchise? 10 years? PS2. Heyday PS2. Ooh, so nice. I think, I think they had, the, is it 15 or 20 year? That's a long time. What, 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 PS2 wasn't that old. No. Uh, 10 year. Got to be 10 year. Cool. Cool. Wait, no, 2017, that'd be 2007. It's 15 probably. And that's coming out later this month. Later this month. End of this month. Anyway, let's move off of that. Yeah. But speaking with as much uh, as we want to gush over Monster Hunter for ever, we'll we'll turn off the mics and we'll we'll gush. <laughs> we'll do that later. We'll get, we got a mop. Um, Gross. So talk to me, Joe, about what you've been playing. I have not had a lot of time. It's been the holidays, so I've kind of been uh, relegated to just my rating. And wow. Okay. Uh, that does take up a lot of time. Yeah, uh, sadly, it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, when I'm trying to keep two characters like up to snuff, right? Because artifact power, artifact power. But ah. I've almost got to like that break point where I'm at like rank seventy five, and there's no I, need for doing anything. I mean, it's it's just there. But I have other like artifact weapons I can power up for right. uh, things like that. But it's been it's still been fun. I'm still enjoying. Wow, it's it's just like that. Right old familiar grind see it uh, and we're now into like heroic progression fighting uh, so like normals on farm and uh we're actually hitting bosses that are difficult and yeah. it's kind of fun to get back to a point where we're not just like two three shotting bosses so back to that that good old feeling of just white right. night where you're just dying over and over and over trying to dial that in i will say i kind of miss if you weren't a guy who had to make potions or do any of that shenanigans uh for your team uh being able to be okay i'm uh, it's wednesday thursday i log in and i play i don't actually have to play any other times like i i've got myself raid geared and the only upgrades are coming from raids as opposed to this well artifact power goes up every week so oh, no now it's mythic plus as well if you're right. not if you're not doing the a plus 15 man you are wasting your time see like I, that's beautiful if i wanted to play like wow is it it's g- it's really cool too in that mythic pluses do like promote different play styles different mm. builds so you're actually substantially changing man i'm probably not every per class depends on, depends on your class depends on the class probably right uh i know with like the druid i do pretty substantially change my play style and even the shadow priest now they've kind of changed a few things uh to make a couple different spells more meta for mythic plus mm-hmm. uh it significantly changes the play style which is really interesting in that i can mix up what i'm doing throughout the week by pretty substantially like mixing it up mm. every time and it, it keeps me keeps me on my toes, keeps me interested. It does feel like I'm getting like a better grasp of the class itself, mm-hmm. uh, in both cases with the priest and the druid. Okay, and okay. Uh, it I don't know it keeps it keeps it interesting, especially knowing that this is uh, this expansion or this patch is potentially going to run for a long time. Yeah, it keeps things fresh in, in a way that I didn't expect. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm glad to hear yeah. it. I mean, that's how I kind of kept, well, I never kept things fresh late in the patch. It was just, okay, uh, kind of get your guy ready, park him, and just get ready. Park to, him outside, Ray, and just well, walk in when you need to start. And just, and just have a good have, you know, good time with your buddies. And then and that's still viable if you're not like a more, I don't know, hardcore raid team, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I, I that's, that's my problem is I don't know how to do... Not, not hardcore, hardcore and right. not or or yeah. totally checked out, you know. I I go until I burn out or the loot runs out, and then it's basically for me the grind loop when it gets a little too long. When the return on investment it gets a little, there, there's a point where I go, oh, this is not, and it's not happening fast enough, and I just it I've, loses me. I have found a uh, I don't know probably problematic uh, a way to track my progress towards my next legendary. <laughs> Interesting. And so now I can just like anytime I hit my little macro, it pops up all my stats for like 
what have I done since my last legendary dropped and what are like and how and I can watch the percentage chance of me getting a legendary just increases. Wow. So it's it's beautiful and horrible all at the same time because right. I can see that I'm getting closer and I can see what I can do to get closer and how many of those things I've already done and how much that contributes to my percentage increase. So I find myself still running LFR, still jumping in and running tons of dungeons. You've got a uh, when I have the time, when I have the time, and then I'll just like pop that little macro, and I can see exactly like how much progress I've made, and <laughs> and now I've started stockpiling uh, tokens and things to try and cheese which legendary I get. Really? Uh, yeah, because uh, you can buy uh, certain consumables that will become gear for your spec, and if it is for a specific slot, it will favor that slot for if and they have a chance to become a legendary when gotcha. you open them. Okay. So I'm just stockpiling these tokens in hopes that I can finally get my best in slot legendary uh by cheesing it. Uh, I mean that's yeah. what that's what you do, you know? So I'm, C- I'm, creative use of game mechanics. I'm basically playing chicken with my percentage chance of a legendary dropping and then when I open a bunch of these little tokens. So Okay. Uh we'll see how that goes. I guess I can report back when I'm finally opening stuff. Yeah, I, I guess. don't know how exciting that is for everyone else, but I'm excited. All I, like I have a. I'm like, oh no, good for you. I want you to get loot because loot makes you happy. <laughs> loot and, makes you happy. And, and if that makes you feel more fulfilled, good well, for and, you. And, and 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 uh, happy Joe is a better co-host, Joe. Sure, sure. You absolutely. know, I don't want you to be there. It's legendary. Didn't drop. Since you I'm get all notoriously bitter, bitter and jaded. Well, you do get frustrated when you're not getting your legendaries. Ah, <sighs> uh, sure, sure. I mean, we all get there. Granted, that's just a direct like like reaction to how much effort I'm putting into getting said legendary. Right, right. So. Uh, I mean, that makes a certain amount of sense. Yeah, because you can you can stack the deck in your favor by just doing yeah. more of the appropriate things that can drop legendaries. So mm. it all just adds up, adds up. And as long as I'm paying attention, I should be able to cheese it and get the one that I want. That, I mean, best of luck, man. <laughs> That's I, what I, I'm shooting for. I hope that all works out. Yeah, um, I'm a little disappointed. I don't have more uh, to report as far as that goes. Uh we're, but, we're, yeah. we're working on scheduling on that. For, yeah, scheduling is getting a little weird, but we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So uh, as for me... Yeah, what do you, uh, anything else, Dan, oh, other than your like obsession with uh, Monster Hunter News and or <sighs> Well, Monster, video? Monster Hunter News and Video has allowed me to watch a lot of videos and paint a lot of miniatures. That's so, And I've been, you know, to various tabletop miniatures, been doing that and, you know, getting those up to snuff and just kind of rocking through those as I'm listening to people talk about Monster Hunter, which has been... <sighs> it's a good way to do it. It is a really good way to do it because it, it, it both fulfills my need to hear about Monster Hunter, but also gets miniatures painted. Which is the well, never-ending struggle. <laughs> you've, you've seen the progress I've made. Yeah, as, as consider, shown, shown a considerable earlier, yeah. number. Of, yeah, uh, you're like, wait, now how painting. did you get all? How did you get all these done? It's like a uh, monster Hunter videos. Too much, too much time. Uh, but the other thing I've been actually uh, playing around with is a, an absolute backlog game that I tried to play on the 360. Uh, fell off that because of the way that it's it's a weird game. Okay, it's the Last Remnant. I have never heard of that game. Right, it was a Square Enix joint. Which sounds like it would be my jam. Well, and here, well, here's the thing: is it's a, it's it's an RPG, but it's not how it's you not would R- Final Fantasy. It is absolutely not Final Final Fantasy. Um, but it's got it's the way it leveling. There's like leveling up and increasing your stats. Those things aren't necessarily tied together. When I found out, uh, I was trying to beat a. It was a two disc three hundred and sixty game. Oak two disc three sixty yes game. and there was a I didn't quest know they did that there was a quiz oh there was a few of those um, wow Lost Odyssey cool. I think was three what's Lost Odyssey <laughs> another RPG that was actually oh, okay was really cool in concept and then I mean leave it to Square Enix RPGs to be multi disc okay games. The, it, it was a really cool okay I'm gonna digress here for a second Lost Odyssey was a very cool RPG about a, an immortal a guy who lived forever. Okay, but for whatever reason, beginning of the game you've lost your memory that they explain later on. But like the whole tone and tenor is. Boy, doesn't it suck to live forever. Where you would regain memories that basically became these visual novel type things. Where okay. like cool paintings and backgrounds and music playing while you're reading about this memory from that his... That does sound a li- uh, interesting uh, for sure. More than a lifetime ago from this guy. And the whole the tone and tenor though is it sucks to live forever. And then spoilers, like the last thing in the game is like, he's like, eh, maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's like, no. It's, what a turn. It, what a turn. Uh, I, I can see why they... Why maybe they I'm, maybe I'm okay with this living forever thing. But he's not. Well, I mean, I don't want to get into too much of that. That was a really fun game that That's was really, really kind of a cool system um, that did things a little bit differently. Anyway, Last Remnant was kind of from the same uh, same time. Um, and it's 
bad in a lot of ways, but also really <laughs> neat in a lot of ways. But okay. So here's the your basic. You know, you know how you had it's turn based, so but it's, it's it's old like JRPG style. N- no, I mean it's. <laughs> Yes and no. Okay. Um, it's positional in that your characters will move around, but it's not just your characters. Your characters are a part of units that are in formations. Uh, and so you can build these formations like, oh, this one's melee focused. And you could have five okay. guys in a unit. And as the, you get through the game, you get more of those formations you can have. But not not a tactics. No, and you learn, as you do certain things, you learn different formations. One that boosts your magic. But you're not moving around like a grid. You're not moving around a grid. Grids. Okay. You don't have any control over that, but it affects how how the game plays. Okay. And you're fighting formations of the enemy. Um, so you'll have things like, um, if you have a unit that is head on, with a, a head on with another unit, it's in deadlock. And if another unit comes and attacks from the side, it gets flank attacked. So almost some strategy, but it's all. But the all, all the only way you get that is I'm gonna kill like you as a player. Basically, you have like I'm gonna kill everything off the board, and there's only this one big unit left, and I'm gonna surround it. Okay. You do a flank attack, a flank attack, and then you do a rear assault, which is massive damage. But anytime you can really do it, it's a like a big boss type creature that's so big it can multi deadlock, so you can't flank it. Okay, this is <laughs> this is already way more complicated than I expected. Than you expected, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and you, there's a neat mechanic is in the overworld. You can see all your enemies, but you can essentially t- stop time or like shift time, so you can gather up a number of enemies and pull multiple enemies into the fight. Okay. Better rewards also. So here's where it was like your enemy raw number of enemies defeated increases your battle rank, which is kind of like oh you're not ready for this quest thing yet is you have to have a certain battle rank, I guess. But it's not as simple as that because in order to raise stats, you want to fight more enemies or get a good chain of enemies that you that you fought. By initiating combat, you make your chains go up. If you get caught out of combat not of your choosing, that breaks the chain. And so like... And, and everybody has a weird uh, bunch of stats. Like one guy has management is one of his stats. Another chick has love is a stat. But there's no way that surface what that means. Okay, but it so just says, almost a mic. It's, it'll say like Emma's love has increased, <laughs> and you're like, and but, congratulations. But here's here's another thing that's cool. Like you only manage your equipment for your main character. Okay. Everyone else, occasionally, when you're getting the loot drop at the end, will say, "Oh, hey, can I have that?" And they kind of upgrade their gear on their own. And you'll go out to the world map, and someone will say, "Hey, I'd really like to go search for this. Can we do that right now?" Interesting. I mean, does that? play into the whole they, they level up their gear okay there and I, I haven't really watched that closely but it's like side quests, basically not even side quests. it's just i i'm out fighting these particular monsters the thing they need has dropped oh, and okay. now they'll say hey i want that and you could seize and it from so, you, you could actually prevent them from oh, taking okay. it if you want to be a jerk you can take it for but, but by, by default they take it okay. um so there's all again i to get into like the systems on systems uh, thing yeah, JRPGs, man. But but you, you so you have these formations, you have the things they do, but you can't really dictate how everybody moves. You can say, "Hey, go fight that guy over there," and if they're running to someone else and you intercept them, you get an like you get an intercept. But if they stop you from going where you want to go, it's an interference, and there's a morale bar that slides back and forth. And it's it's a game that you end up grinding a lot, <laughs> but it's not like efficient grinding in a way that you know. This seems like madness. It like. is, and it was crazy. But let's like say the, the reason I fell off on the on the 360, and I, what I did is I've come back to the PC version, which has been real interesting because I've been like reading better. They've kind of played around with some how some of the systems work a little bit because like I was reading the first time I realized I was unable to beat this. There's a I read. I got this quest. I read up on the quest. The only way this is back, two thousand eight or whenever it was. Oh, okay. And it was. It was saying way back when you need a battle rank of at least this to go fight this guy, this creature. And oh, and that's the other thing is some of the fights it auto on the PC version it auto saves after every single fight because sometimes you just get screwed on the fights. Okay, yeah. No, it, it I just, mean, I've, I've definitely played games it, that, that are just, like that, yeah. Yeah, and it's just sometimes you'll do the fight three times and you're like, oh, now you destroyed them. Nothing changes. Your stats don't change. Your gear doesn't change. Your formations don't change. Just it worked out that time. That sounds like poor design. It doesn't... It, I, I will say it hasn't... Ha- it happened to me once. That's it. Just once. Uh, but... Okay. Uh, but yeah, once is enough that you're better. just like... 
Uh, anyway, um, <laughs> trying to, try to gather my thoughts on, on something that has all these things going on. So there's this quest. And it says you, you, you can only do this quest and they get to like the true ending, true dungeon. You have to have this done before you go to disc two. Okay. And that's when I was doing, I ended up doing deeper reading because I couldn't beat this guy at all. He was just wrecking my teams. I'm like, what is going on? Uh, I start reading up and it's like, well, your battle rank might be high, but if you haven't been fighting in the right way, your stats aren't high enough to fight this guy. That's a weird... So you kind of want to go to where the, the, the guys are almost higher level than you and grind out stats or just run dungeons and grind... Wait, so where do the stat bonuses come from? From fighting either in chains, like chaining, chaining together, because your, your health and all that is reset after every fight. Okay. So you don't have to worry about healing in between fights. Uh, but you want, so you basically have to run, uh, you have to run in an area, not leave it. So if you fight 15 guys, your chain is 15. Uh, and the higher you get into your chain, the more the likely, more stat. Stat, the more likely a stat up is oh, to so occur. It's like a random chance. Well, you could fight a level, sort of. like you could fight a level one slime or whatever, and eventually you're going to get it. It's killing boars. Oh, so it is, it is just random chance. Like, it, no, I, I don't know that it's not the random chance or if it's just a after this much, this thing has happened enough oh, times or so enough much of, XP. You filled your bar. Quote unquote XP. Yeah. Like it, it's like an invisible XP system. I think I haven't read enough to under actually get to the point where it, I understood where it works. When I read that, I was like, the hell is this? And I, and I fell off the game. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that would okay. kind, of, kind of crush yeah. it. Well, it was on sale for five bucks, I think, on Steam or something like that. So I'm like, you know what? And I picked it up like a year or two ago, and I just haven't touched it. I've been meaning to get back into it. But the thought of how that system works, and we've since started this channel and have been doing things on that. So what I did is, this is not a watch someone play it friendly sort of game. Definitely. That sounds, but, yeah, JRPGs are... Especially one with apparently a focus on grind. I think it would depend. Yeah, and it was funny because I, I actually, when I was I was playing, I walked into an area that I was just following the the, the plot kind of closely, and I think my battle rank was kind of low because my morale was taking a hit at the beginning of these fights. But as a result from that, I was actually getting through the fights just fine. My stat ups were just raining down on me, and all my guys were getting so good to the point that I was watching that morale bar every single fight get farther and farther up on my side. Showing that they were getting the stats that they were required to actually hang in that dungeon. Oh, this game sounds like a mess. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> it's like a charming sort of mess. Okay. Like, it's not one I would recommend to anyone, but I've still kind of enjoyed it. Though, this is an interesting time. Well, is, because it, is the narrative at least good? Hmm. Like, is there, like, what is, to, what's, what, what's redeeming? Talk to me, to, to define for me what you would consider good. Um, is it. Let's see. Is it better than? Uh, no, that's low. Is it better than Final Fantasy VII? <laughs> you're trying to set off. You're uh, you're trying to get people no. angry, aren't you? No, not really. I um, I mean, it's just like kind of a go-to. It's a benchmark, I guess, of right. sorts. Like, I, but I have my issues with Final Fantasy VII. I was this. Sure. It's it's very anime. Uh, you said Square Enix. I kind of like yeah. that was the one that kind of came to mind. But it's I don't know. I it's charming. Okay. I mean, if it. it Gets anime enough that can happen, yeah. But it's not like I mean, it, it, it's not like good anime though. It's not good anime. It's just anime. But uh, okay. So you're a kid. Your 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 parents are remnants are like these mega powerful artifacts. Like and you, I guess I don't know if it's action points or turns that you can use in combat. Like one guy has this giant uh, cannon. Okay. That the first time you see it in a cutscene, it's being hauled onto a battlefield. Which that is one cool thing. This game, it set the set pieces are battlefields. And okay. Your soul, you and your team of soldiers, because there's named characters and so just soldiers. Is it wartime or is it just I just life I mean, life in last remnant world? Yes, it's both of those things. Just war bands. So you'll have war bands of monsters fighting organized armies. Okay. And so you see this happen, and they're they wheeling in on a wagon this giant cannon. And they, you know, cut it free and it drops down because it's like a sentient cannon thing. Uh, but after s enough nice. time is gone, uh, dude basically uses his super because it's bound to him. He can fire it. And so everybody has a, u all, I guess all remnants are unique is the idea. Okay. And so in each town has like uh, city remnants that protect them. It's considered protectors even though they don't do anything. Like the first town you go to has this giant like... It looks like a 15, 20 story sword that's just stuck into the ground uh, and like at a weird angle, but sword in the stone style and everybody's like, oh, well, this is the protector remnant of our city. Interesting. So, and, okay. Yeah, sure. 
Proceed. I didn't get far. <laughs> I didn't get far enough to see if those actually do anything or oh, have any okay. real powers. Okay. But your character has like the his time shift ability comes from a necklace thing that he has. Oh, okay. Uh, that do he you got get some multiple remnant. Like so, you have all kinds of weird powers. I or? haven't got far enough in to see if that oh, happens. Okay. But you get every characters. You get different characters who have remnants. So I have two characters right now that could use remnants. So you have like named characters like that that are important to the story, and you can also fill out your ranks with just soldiers. And you can also hire mercenaries okay, uh, to like fill in your ranks as well. So how many people are in each of these parties? Um, right now, I can have nine, uh, nine people at any given time. And you don't actually have to manage them... No, no. In fact, in fact, you're the way the um, the turn order stuff works is I give vague commands. So I'll say attack them, use combat arts or use um, mystic arts, magic or combat abilities. I don't even know which ones they're going to use or which members of that group are actually going to use them. Wow. And, and it's as, not even a, a priority system or anything? Not that I know of. Okay, cool. <laughs> and, and if there is, I kind of don't want to know it. I kind of like just let, let throwing them out there, like the, the, the kind of the blur in combat of battle. Like, I'll say this. You get a feel from the way when you're in these big uh, battles where there's multiple creatures, everybody's charging in from different angles and trying to get an advantage. It is fun. I enjoy that. I mean, okay. Cool. And I just think is, I like it. I have liked it uh, last Remnant. Um, even if it is a bit clunky, and even the way the characters move, there's no character that walks like a normal human being. Everybody <laughs> looks like they're like like tripping or like the ground. Like they're, if you see somebody who's walking oh, on ice and, like the, and they're trying to keep their balance but like walk at a certain pace and they lo- it just looks off. Hey, I can appreciate bad games. Well, no, it's not a bad game. Stop saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I played uh, through Jurassic Park from the SNES. I know. I, I you know, know. I, I was there. <laughs> I, didn't get the, I didn't get the benefit of having to play, but oh, I still had God. to watch. I still really enjoyed that, though. That no, was, no, that was, that was yeah, a lot exactly. of fun. Yeah, uh, exactly. This is one of those games. It's, it's charming. Um, there's The world seems really cool, and there's like there's a, there's a bunch of different... There's at least four different species of, of things that are all living together in harmony. Uh, so, I mean, it's just visually interesting. Um, and so when you recruit soldiers, there's like these big dudes, these big shark fish man looking things that they're always stronger than everyone else. Their baseline strength is more. Street sharks? Street sharks, sure. <laughs> they're jawsome. <laughs> yes, uh, jawsome. But yeah, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, but the, yeah, the story... Your your sister gets kidnapped. You're trying to get your sister back. She's important for some reason. Your parents aren't around because they're remnant researchers, and they decided to leave you alone on an island while they went off and researched remnants. Oh yeah, like like they do. And the opening is like, hey, you, it's time is right. You're gonna come live with us. And you're like, woo, mom and dad. And then your little sister gets kidnapped, and you're like, oh, okay, I better save my little and, sister. And first. now and now you're working with mercenaries fighting in an army for a kingdom of yeah. It's okay then. It's you know it's pretty anime. Uh, I will say this. I do remember one thing from a cutscene that I haven't got to it yet in my second playthrough, but it's stuck with me all these years. Okay. Some dude, it's, it, it, it's, this is how anime it gets. He's lifting somebody up and he's like, oh, you got him by the, by the back of the neck, right? And he's showing up, he wants them to see something that's happening while he's also strangling them. Oh, okay. But it's flat palm against the back of their neck strangles them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Which is like, that doesn't work that way. The force. Yeah, right? It's like, yeah, it, it is like, that's... Turns out due to the sit the whole time. Right? Might as well. <laughs> Shocker. Yeah, anyway, it's, it's it's a game I'm going to spend some more time with right because on, right on. I can just kind of turn my brain off, listen to podcasts, and not think and about Monster but not right Hunter. Away. And not think about oh, Monster Hunter. Is that what this all is? It's all just like a way to not think about Monster Hunter? Um, to Ask me next week. <laughs> I haven't gotten too deep into it, uh, and I'll have a better idea of some of the stuff that's going on, uh, right on right with on, it. Yeah. But I, I'm enjoying it. It's 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 a RPG. It's not quite turn based, but it's basically turn based with right. some some quick time event stuff. So it's a little mechanically different than your oh, it is stuff. completely so, mechanically different. Uh, yeah, I, and honestly, like I have found in my playthroughs of other JRPGs mm. that uh, they're rarely successful. When they go from that standard what, turn base, it's just which is weird because like I'll say, I'll say this one thing I do like is the from the last remnant is the feel of when you have these story beats and you're like no this guy's rolling up on us we're gonna stay we're gonna stop him and it's not just four people cutting through an army it's my army is preventing your army from doing its thing 
Okay. And and like yeah. it, it, it's just it just puts it it makes it feel like it's on a different scale. True. And he's you, just and a you commander. Are, you you yeah. are more of a strategy game. Uh, aren't having an army and using that in a way that like does right. shift that balance. Right. A little bit of like yeah, if it, so it kind of scratches a little bit of a different <laughs> itch, I guess. It's faux tactics and that there's no actual tactics. Yeah, and but it feels like I'm so, tacticking. Yeah. I don't know. I I really don't know. I I can't I can't speak to that. Pseudo tactics. Right. Uh, but it's um. Right on. I mean, I love a good JRPG. Also, for cutscenes, it's great seeing a bunch of dudes rush at each other Braveheart style. That does sound cool. And some of them Shark Men and Frog Men and two armed or four armed Cat Men. That's very anime. Yeah. Like here's the thing: is I, I see this and I'm like, I would actually like to see this in an anime. I, I wish this was a show I could just. It watch would probably and be didn't have to actually play. Yeah. <laughs> sure. That's that's not what I said, but uh, uh, that's what I think I would say. <laughs> uh, that's probably what you would say. That's I would probably, what I would at say. some point we'll probably talk through this, and you're like, you're right. I wish this was an anime. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. So that I will reserve judgment until I see. Last yeah. <laughs> some of what this is, but I think that's kind of uh, that's that's it for me. So. Right on, right on. I think that's going to kind, of, kind of do it for, well, unless you have anything else or... Um, no, I don't think I have anything in particular. Just a channel update. Uh, we are in a spot where things are shifting around for us, so we're going to be kind of dropping to... Yeah, some personal life schedule changes and things right, like that. Right, and I have a schedule change that might turn into a schedule change or turn to back to a... Di- anyway, I don't want to go into that, but uh, <laughs> things, t- the times they are are changing, and... We are going to. We're committed yeah, we to have, doing. We, yeah, we're committed to the channel and everything. Still to do uh, the backcast and right, we, something else. Every we week have a little week. less time to record and process, edit, process stuff throughout the week at this point. Right. Uh, so we got to cut back a little bit on the rate at which we're producing. We're hoping to start upping said production value because we are limited on right. recording time and so everything. So we're going to try to keep doing, going with Overlord and going to start. Uh, we finished Space Marine. Yeah, we're, you Space, haven't seen that yeah, yet. Space You'll Marine, see that. Space Marine is eminently finished this, uh, uh, we have yeah. finished recording space marine is what right. we should say so next week or this week it'll go up yeah it should all be up this week and, and then we have another overlord in the can yeah an overlord we're gonna go with i'll be starting hyperlight drifter right and yeah look forward to that yeah look forward to all that uh like i said we we want to we want to keep the videos coming but at the same time we also want to improve the quality of the videos so uh, stick with us as we we get that all figured out and it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be are you jawsome it's yeah, street sharks. You 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 made you brought this on yourself. Street sharks. Did you 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 loaded this um uh, this pun gun? I'm just gonna yell street sharks over <laughs> and over. <laughs> that's 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 an effective means of argument uh, argumentation. I've heard. Uh, and we'll leave it at that. Thank you everyone <laughs> for tuning in. We'll catch you next time on the backcast. Google street sharks. <laughs>